Hello, Dr. B. Hi, and how are you? Wonderful. And hello, everyone. Um, welcome to Let's Talk About It Tuesday. Um, we're going to be on to give some little tidbits on some different things that um, we've been asked and to shed some light on some uh, a gala affair that we had with our national. Um, before I get started talking about the national, Dr. B, I wanted to um, to bring to your attention a question that was opposed to to us about building your brand. And I my, I, my, my suggestion to them was. You know, we love building brands for everybody and other people using their things and trying to build it. But, I, you know, what's wrong with building your own brand and, and starting your own things that you do? Because you know what? Each one of us, like you're working now and you're in the D.C. area. I'm here in Alabama and we have others in Chicago and Georgia and you name it, Bahamas everybody's going to encounter somebody a different way. Mm -hmm. So whatever works for me, dealing with my client may not work for you. And whatever yeah. works for you may not work for me, right? Very true. So we, we, we build our own um, style, if you would, on how we're going to do and what we're going to do. And this is what I was trying to get them to understand. I'm getting ready to do a, another class. And it's sort of a big class. And all of us are different. All of us are good in different things, OK? But we're all trying to come together to get this common certification, which is the hair loss. Uh, this class, particular class, Dr. B, is the one-on-one -on -one class. So there are just getting started into the hair loss um, business. But I'm thinking that a lot of times we need to help them with the way they think because I know some people have taken the class and to be honest, some haven't done anything with their certification. And you know what, I would say that we would need to find out what is their intention. You know, why do they want to take the class because I think some people take the class because you know it's the up and coming thing it's the thing that you know a lot of people are you know doing now it's it's kind of like I don't want to call it a trend but it's one of the more popular things right now in our industry and you know it's also I'm sure people are looking at clients and saying okay I'm noticing clients losing hair um, you know, maybe I should take a hair loss class, but then they don't necessarily know what to do after that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and that, I think, is how you branch into building your brand. You have to first understand what does it mean to you and, you know, what are your intentions? What do you plan to do with it? You know, I, okay, I, I can agree with that because I don't think a lot of them know. This is one reason why... In the program, I had to revamp some, some things because I can't do everything for everybody, but I do try to give enough information to get them started where they can flow. But I think you, 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 you said the key word, what are your intentions? So I've started asking the question even before they sign up, why are you taking this class? Um, what do you expect to get out and what you're going to do with it, you know? Right. And of course, people give me this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, 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 this. Fine. Well, after they've taken the class and many others, I will see them sometimes and, and I will say, well, what are you doing? Well, I just could never get this going and I couldn't do this. But, you know, I know trending things, they're going to come and they're going to go. Okay. And yes, we, we're experiencing more people losing their hair and they're wanting their hair back and all of that. We do understand that. Now that's going to be around for forever, okay? So it's never going anywhere. So my thing is, Dr. B, is how you position yourself 
in whatever business that you decide to get into, you have to see yourself being productive and very active. Mm -hmm. and, and if you're going to take the class, you know, you need to be very active in it. And someone asked me, well, how can I get my, how can people know me? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm straight up and honest about that. You've got to work your business for your business to work for you. Exactly. Um, you can take classes from some of the, you name it. But if you don't work the business, and you just took it and it's just there, then you can't blame anybody but yourself because really, you build your brand. It's just like the national. When I started out with the National Institute, nope, nope. When I started with the National Beauty Culture League, I didn't know what to expect, okay? But from what I was looking at, I knew it was something I wanted to be a part of, okay? So, once I got in, mm -hmm. found out what I needed to do as far as getting educated, um... It started me to thinking like a professional because when you're around professional people that talk professionally and they think, they have a tendency of pulling you up to where they are. Just like if you talk to somebody who don't want to do nothing, they can mm -hmm. pull you down. So you choose who you're going to spend your time with. But I have learned um, how to have the tenacity to 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 go for what I'm looking for. And mm -hmm. like you said, you have to know what you're looking for. What are you trying to get? Right. And then you know what the, the one of the things that you said, which I'm glad you mentioned it, um, when you mentioned people that you're around, one of the things that I encourage people when they're trying to figure out what to do with their business is talk to other people. You know, um, sometimes just like when you're in school, you need a study group. Yeah. Sometimes you need a business group. Yeah. And I've had groups of people that I have been with um, that I have talked to, and we bounce ideas off of each other. And I, I usually call it my accountability circle. Okay. It's usually like three or four people that aren't necessarily doing the same thing because when you do the same thing you become a little um competitive yeah you know, even though you don't intend to and you may not honestly share the things that you need to share but yeah. um you know i like to have people that are not in the same industry but where we can bounce business ideas off of one another so you can also hear how other people hear your idea more so from a consumer standpoint versus a professional standpoint. So it gives sense. you an idea of how a client would receive whatever it is that you are talking about doing. Well, you know what? That makes sense because I think, and I was talking to my, my uh, daughter to be exact, um, mm -hmm. a lot of times when you have a great idea of a business or something that you're going to do, um, you be so excited about it, you just start telling. That you just start telling. Well, everybody may not feel the same way that you do about mm -hmm. what you're doing. And so they have, sometimes they have a tendency of saying some things that will kind of make you rethink what you said. That was discouraging. Yeah. And so you're like, well, maybe I shouldn't do it. Well, you know, they're not going to receive you like that. Um, but you know what, Dr. B? I, I love the fact that that um, different people I encounter, I ask them first, where are you trying to go? What are you go what do you hope to do with this? Um, mm -hmm. Who are you trying to reach? You know, it's just like when you're writing a paper. What audience, who are you trying to capture? Right. right? You know, and so uh, that will help you uh, put the meat on the bone, so to speak, to what you're doing. And mm -hmm. so I looked at that and I'm listening to different ones. I'm, I'm thankful to God, don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful for new classes that, that are people that are signing up for classes, but I want them to understand, listen, 
we have worked extremely hard to get where we are. And we take what we do extremely serious to the point that, that we want people that think like we do so they can appreciate what has been put in front of them. You know, and the National taught me that. Um, I, I can't say I've ever been in an organization like the National. And you hear people say, well, you know, people fall, listen, families fall out. But they don't fall out, fall out. I mean, they have disagreements, but they still it don't take away the fact that they found it. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're looking for a perfect, perfect, perfect world, perfect this, perfect that, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's going to come with its high. Huh? I said you will not find it. No, no. But you know what? If you bring your best to whatever you're trying to be a part of, and you do your best, you can be a part of the solution and not the problem. So I was looking, thinking about our red night. It was, I enjoyed myself. I was able to see those that I hadn't seen in a while. You know, um, I think we need to get used to using this Zoom and different. <laughs> and different in different capacities. Absolutely. At least for a while because, um, and, and the thing I love about it, it did not stop the productivity and the education for the Institute. Yes. And that was the whole goal. Yes, yes, goal. yes. Because I was reading some of the papers that they turned in after doing all, uh, listen, after grading those papers. <laughs> It was so many, but uh, I read them. I actually read them, and some of the the information that it, that they put in the the paperwork, you know, expressing what they got out of class, was uplifting for me mm -hmm. because it encouraged me to keep keep going, you know, keep working, and you know. So, and then you had some. You said, well, "Hey, you need to put a little bit more in this this." Uh, Needs a little bit more meat on the bones before I actually grade it, you know. You know, but because you want everyone to do well. Right. Um, and, you know, and, and people can tell what's in your heart when you write a paper. People can tell what your thoughts are and where your mind is. And, you know, you can really tell a lot from a person, especially when they turn in a paper. You can tell if this person is 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 thorough. You can tell if this person just don't really care about what they're turning in or nothing like that. And automatically, when I see that, it lets me know your survival in this industry, yay or nay, you know? Because what you put in is what you get out. Yeah. Well, you know what the great thing that I, I experienced um, in terms of like the paper writing even though, you know, I was not an instructor and I have not been tasked with, you know, going over papers, there were people who were very honest and said, you know, I don't know how to do this. You know, um, I have not had to do this, you know, in many, many years. And I'm, I'm having trouble starting. You know, the great thing is, like when you talk about you can tell about someone's survival in the industry, it wasn't just to give up, but they sought help and yeah. some type of guidance so that they could survive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's I like a great it. thing. Well, you know what? And, and the loving thing about this is that, and then if anybody, whoever's watching this, remember this, if you can't help someone else, you're doing whatever business or whatever part that you play in anything, you're doing a very injustice because we're going to be helping people forever because we're going to need help and remain teachable because when you get to the place where nobody can tell you anything, you're in danger zone. You know, you're in danger zone. I was looking at, um, I had a client actually, we was talking about this case study. And 
We were talking about these mites. We're back on these mites again. But, <laughs> these are the mites that are uh, look like uh, dust. They look like little dust bunnies. Dust so, mites. Dust mites, yeah. But these are the kind that you can find on your flesh. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so as I was studying about them, I was like, okay, Lord, I have how am I to help her with this? And so this was the thing. She needed to be detoxed. Listen, from the inside out. Okay? Anytime you have any type of parasites or any type, any type of infection or whatever, it starts from the inside. Okay? Now, a lot of times when you're buying all this topical stuff you're trying to put on there, Topical is only going to like what? Just pacify it, but not really, not really get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So we got together and we put together her a plan for um, detoxification um, from the liver, all of the organs to be detoxed. Okay. And um, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, she she says she feels somewhat better, but then also, also it's not gonna happen with one treatment. You got to this is a, listen, this is what you got to do, and it's no different than our businesses and things we got to do. Sometimes you got to detox from people, from things, from just stuff. To get, That's, I was just having that conversation. Really. Yeah. Yeah. That's important. Um, so when people say, well, how can I be in my brain? Okay, first of all, you got to erase everything you thought you knew. I usually have a teacher say, enter into the classroom, but before you take that seat, erase everything you thought you knew. Mm -hmm. In other words, she wanted a clean canvas right. to work because if you come in and you're full of what you call knowledge, can't nobody put nothing else in there because you're so full of what you think you know. Right. And you're and, not open to receiving anything else. Absolutely. And that becomes a problem, B. That becomes a, a problem, Dr. B, because when people look at you and I, and they may see the doctor and all of that, but what they, what they don't know um, these years of education, you know, and we still have to learn. We, we're not done. We still have to learn, and we're so much to learn. And, you know, I look at it, and I, I just kind of observe different um, approaches on how to handle different students, different clients, different people that we come in contact with. Because the first thing I still stick with detoxification, and there is a such thing as detoxification of the mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a detoxification of the mind, and and you know, um, whatever you set your mind to, you can accomplish whether it's good or bad. You can right. accomplish it once you lock in on it, and so. Uh, helping her with that situation, dealing with the parasite, first tackle will has to be a cleansing of the body and her mind. Because, you know, you can take care of a person and pretty much do the best you can, but if, it, if it's locked in their mind, you, you're defeated in that area, so... Well, you know, and that's just like, what's, what's the purpose of going to your doctor if you already know how to handle your problem? That's true. That's you know? true. So that's, I think, you know, that, that can go in many different cases. You know, what's the purpose of going to a class if you already know the information? Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be open to learning something else. Yes, you might have had that class before, you know, and you have learned something, but there's always something new and then there's always a different approach. 
So it depends on who's teaching the class. Like if I taught hair loss, I wouldn't teach it the same way you did. So someone may get something a little different from me than they got from you. Not to say that either thing, you know, or to say that something is wrong. Everybody just has a different approach to how they Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, the thing of it is, you'd be surprised what you can learn, even in a class setting, when I'm uh, teaching, the, 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 the learner would say something and it would enlighten me because, so it, to me, it's like this, you give a little, I give a little. We both learn, it's a, it's a give and take situation. It's not that I just give out information. My husband always remind me, him being a pastor, he said, listen, the word may come out of me, but it's for me first. So yeah. it hit me first, and then God just used me to get it out there, but it's for me first. So it's right. never that you give an information out. Oh, it's for her. It's for him. It's for, oh, no, it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, I think we're on to something really good. Um, I'm looking forward to days ahead on some great discussions that I know we're going to have some great topics that's going to be coming up. Can't wait to hear them. Um, we're listening out for questions that you may have concerning uh, things you want to know. I know we should have plenty of questions getting ready to go into this fall of the year because a lot of things are about to change and um, we need to winterize these bodies and get it ready so that the immune system will be ready to tackle any cold weather or any rainy weather that's coming. If you've noticed, the season is definitely changing. Um, so so we, we really need to prepare for that. So I'm thinking, Dr. Bean, um, next week we will tackle some health issues. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure you'll let me know what the topic is and we'll get it out to the people and set it up where they can um, ask questions. And what I'm gonna do is once I find the topic, I'm gonna go ahead and get some questions from some of our people that normally tune in. And uh -huh. so I'll have a list of questions pertaining to the topic, okay? And, and that's what we'll go over for next week. And you know what we can also, um, open up the questions for people who may have questions in regards to building their brand. You yes. know, uh, if they want to <clears throat> ask certain questions as if they were like in an accountability circle, you know, how can uh, I do various things or what would be my next step? Okay. You know, where we may not be totally where we want to be we may be able to help somebody else and in turn help ourselves. That's true. Um, that may be a good, you know, opportunity. Oh, good. I like that. I like that. I like that. And I think we can do that. Well, our time is up. It's so crazy. The time went by so quick. Yeah, it really did. It really did. It really did. Um, so um, for those of you that tune in to, to uh, get tips and get some understanding and answers to some of your questions. We're very appreciative. You can send your questions in to P2P information 7 at gmail.com. And we will uh, gladly answer any questions, uh, talk about topics that we haven't talked about that's in, that may interest you. And hopefully we can have some great answers for you. Um, once again, I'm Dr. Suzette Robinson, and we have Dr. Rashawn Broadnax, who loves his work because y'all always see him working. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate you, Dr. Uh, Rashawn, for taking time out. And your client, tell them thank you <laughs> for, <laughs> for allowing you to um, come on with us um, once again. We're thankful, be looking out for um, a flyer. And I'm sure Dr. B will probably get on live and kind of give y'all a, 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 you know, just a, a cap of what we're gonna talk about. What do you call it, Dr. B? 
just a rundown of what we're going to talk about. Just a rundown. So we're excited. Um, I'm going to, um, those of you that will see this, I'm going to put also under this video, under it, where we can be contact and that we we're looking for you to, to hear from you all, your feedback, want some questions and some topics of some things that we can talk about on Let's Talk About It Tuesday. It has been my pleasure. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Dr. B, anything you want to say? No. Um, well, we didn't really touch on our red night, but okay. you know, we're just very um, in closing that we had an awesome time at the red night. Um, we thank everybody who uh, joined in on the raffle. You know, we had some really nice prizes, which was great. Um, and those prizes will be sent out this week, you know, to the winners. And, you know, um, just look forward to some things coming up. We have some really great ideas and things for Let's talk about it Tuesday. So we look forward to sharing those with you as time progresses. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dr. B. Y'all notice I call him Dr. B for Dr. Broadnet. <laughs> so if you hear me say that, that's what I'm saying. So thank you once again. And we're going to get ready to sign up. And um, we'll be back if the Lord says the same on Tuesday um, at the six o'clock hour central time, seven o'clock Eastern time. Please tune in, enjoy, like, and share. See you later, Dr. B. Good night. Good night.